We're looking at the University of Washington's Math 120 pre-calculus course. This is the second problem from the winter 2016 final exam. Uh, we're asked to consider eight feet of wire. Uh, and with this eight, of, eight feet of wire, we're going to make a square and a right triangle. And with this triangle, we know that one side length is going to be three-fourths the length of the other side. Uh, in particular, we know that this right triangle is going to be similar to a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And we are going to use all 8 feet of wire. The problem insists that we use all 8 feet of wire. And we want to know how to construct these shapes in order to minimize the total area. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pause the video and see whether you can make sense of this on your own. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Notice that if we choose just one particular length, say I tell you I'm going to make my right triangle say six inches long. Uh, and by six inches long I mean this particular side length, the smaller of the three sides is going to be six inches long. That choice dictates the entire rest of the problem. In particular, if this is six inches long, then this will necessarily be eight inches long, and this will necessarily be ten inches long. Um, then I will have used six, eight, and ten. I will have used 24 inches of wire for the triangle. The remainder of my wire, the remaining six feet, will be for my square, and I can compute the area of my square and of my triangle just based on that one little choice of this length. So I'm going to write a function that models the total area as a function of this particular length here. So Let's say that this particular length here is x. If this particular length here is x, then this is 4 thirds x. This is forced because now I have that this is exactly 3 fourths the length of this. And similarly, this is 5 thirds x. So this choice of x dictates the entire perimeter of this right triangle. In particular, how much of my wire have I used on the right triangle? The perimeter of my triangle is 4 thirds x and 5 thirds x plus x, which makes a total of 4x. Note that this is not a fraction. I'm saying that the perimeter of my triangle is 4x. I'm going to use the entire remainder of my wire on the square, so the perimeter of my square will be 8 minus 4x. And the side length will be a quarter of that. So now I know the dimensions of my square and the dimensions of my triangle expressed solely as a function of this choice of x. So I can express now the area of the triangle and the area of the square, again, in terms of x. The area of the triangle is 1 half the base times the height. We have 4 thirds x is the base, and x is the height. And the area of the square is simply the side length squared. So I can now write a function for the total area. I've simplified a little bit. 1 half times 4 thirds is 2 thirds. Uh, and this should have parentheses around it. Uh, 8 minus 4x over 4 simplifies to 2 minus x. And I have this squared. So we've now modeled the total area. The question asks us to minimize the total area. So in particular, we're going to need to figure out which choice of x will minimize this quadratic. So we know that this is a parabola. We simply need to find where the vertex of the parabola is. You may simply know where the vertex of a parabola is, given that we've written this in standard form. 
I personally can never remember the formula, so I'll rederive it here. Uh, the way that I'll find the vertex of a parabola is by remembering that parabolas are symmetrical. Uh, I'm going to find two values that I can plug into this equation, both of which will give a value of 4. In particular, I'll find two x values that both return a y value of 4, uh, and because my parabola is symmetrical, I'll know that my vertex, and therefore my minimum, is directly in between my two. Uh, this drawing's not so great. So how can I find two values of x that will agree? Well, I can find choices that will make this be equal to 0. In particular, if I factor an x out of both of these terms, I see that if x equals 0, this term disappears. And if I can choose an x that will make this be 0, then this term will also disappear. So in particular, f of 0 equals 4. And what's the other one? I think if I make x be 12 fifths, if I plug in 12 fifths, then my 3's will cancel, my 5's will cancel, and I'll have 4 minus 4 inside the parentheses there. So then I know that my minimum is at x equals 6 fifths. In particular, my minimum is right in between x equals 0 and x equals 12 fifths. So the question asks us not to find the length of the triangle that will give the minimum possible total area, but actually to find this minimum possible total area. So to finish this question off, what we need to do is simply take this x value of 6 fifths and plug it back in to our function for the total area. It's worth making sure that this number actually does make sense in this particular situation. In particular, this 2 minus x quantity is actually representing the length of the square. So if this 2 minus x quantity turned out to be negative, then my equation would feel uh, somewhat nonsensical. Uh, but here, this does actually play out to make sense in the geometric interpretations. And we have a solution.